kama tulivyotangaza jana uh, kupitia taarifa yetu kwa vyombo vya habari uh, leo coach Tim Posen uh, coach mkuu wa timu ya taifa Taifa Stars atazungumza uh, nanyi kuhusiana na masuala yanayohusu timu yake kwa hiyo bila kupoteza muda naomba nimkaribishe coach uh, aweze kuzungumza nanyi uh, na baadaye kama kutakuwa kuna maswali na maelezo zaidi tutaendelea kutoa kuhusiana kile ambacho coach anataka kuzungumza nani coach karibu asante sana habari asubuhi nice to see every one of you again and now here in 2022 it's time to start the preparation for Taifa Stars for the Afcon qualifiers and also for the Jan qualifiers which will take place here in 22 there is a FIFA window now from the 20 of March to the 29 of March and that's the time to to prepare for Afcon and Chan. So we will call the players in on Sunday the 20 to report to camp and then they will stay on camp until the 29 where we will break the camp. A part of the preparation is to play international friendly and we will play two international friendly matches here in uh, Dar es Salaam and at, at Mkapa Stadium. It will be a kind of a small tournament. So we will start on the 23rd of March. We will play against Central Africa Republic here. Then on the 26th, Sudan will play against Central Africa Republic. And then finally on the 29th of March, we will play against Sudan. Uh, we are all ranking around the same level at the FIFA ranking, around hundreds. Yeah, we are, we are more or less at the same. So hopefully there will be two good uh, international friendly matches because it's important for me to see the players playing international matches. AFCON will start in June. That will be where match day one, two, three and four. So we have to play four matches from the 1st of June to around the 14th of June. We don't know at this moment who we are playing against because CAF have not uh, made the draw so far. Because in this FIFA window, the 12 lowest team, they are playing qualification round. And also the top teams who are still in for the World Cup qualifiers, the 10 teams are playing there to find out which five team is going. After this FIFA window have been uh, finished, then CAF will make the draw. What we know is that for the AFCON qualifiers, at the moment there are 42 teams. And then for the preliminary round, there will be six more teams, 42 plus 16 gives 48 teams. The 48 team will be divided into group of four teams. So it means there will be 12 groups. When we played the World Cup qualifiers, we know there was also four teams, one team moving on. For the AFCON qualifiers, we all know that there's four teams, two teams moving on. 12 group, two teams moving on, makes 24 teams for the AFCON final. So there is a better chance of moving on from the AFCON compared with the World Cup. And that's what we are looking at to try to, to be either number one and number two in our group. After playing the first four games in June, then in September, we will play the last two matches match day five and six. At the same moment, Chan, for the home base player, will most likely start in the end of July. And then we have to play in July and we have to play again in August. So, national team Taifa Stars will be active with activity in June, July, August and September. The difference is when we play AFCON, we can use our foreign base player. When we play Chan, only for the home base player. So for this FIFA window here, for us, 
Chai Fastas, it's about preparation. Part of the preparation, as mentioned, is to play too international friendly. But it's also the right time to try to identify new, young, talented players who have the potential to do a good job for Thai for Stars. Because we have closed the door for the World Cup, we are now opening the door for the future, for the Afcon qualifiers and for the, for the Chan. Before I will uh, tell you the, the squad, which the squad will be three goalkeepers and 25 players, a total of 28 players. As always, many players have been considered. And end of the day, few can be chosen. Because we cannot choose 50 players or 40 players. We go for a maximum of 25 players plus some keepers. So, I'm watching a lot of the, of the Premier League matches, either live or by Assam TV. And I also use my IT instead to follow the players in, who are playing abroad. I can give you one example. Kelvin John. Where's Kelvin John now? Last time Kelvin John was with the national team, that was when we were in Kenya, we took him in. At that time, Kelvin John was playing at a school in England. Kelvin John was not at that moment there. He know himself and said, I have to, to grow. But Kelvin John, he moved, as you probably know, to Belgium, to Genk. And there he is now training and playing. A part of my job is to find out how is he doing. I have a report here on my phone from one agent, who a friend of mine who knows football very well, who have been there to observe his, his matches. So he has given me a match analyzed report about Kelvin John. By accident, I also know the coach of Genk for the second team. He's a friend of mine. So I am in regular contact with him and telling, asking him how it's going with Kelvin. He sent me some video clips also to show this is, he's, you see he has scored a number of goals. He's training well. The first team coach is very satisfied. He has moved him up, so he's now training with first team. So all this research we are doing, I'm doing. And I can already tell you now, Kelvin John will be a part of that camp because this is the moment where we believe he have, he's ready to give something to the team. Last time, he was not ready. This time, I have a strong and good feeling that Kelvin John will be there. I will not go through every player because there is a quite a new number of players into the team from abroad, also from uh, from playing here, but each and every player we have the same track record. We are following them and we are calling and we are knowing where are they. So we are not closing our eyes and saying, we take this one. No, 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 no. We are Angelia, we are observing, we are analyzing and we are saying this player is now ready and we will take him to the team. I hope you understand. So this is one of the key factors for this camp. It is to see new players. How are they going to do? Because after this FIFA window, there's no FIFA window in, in April. There's no FIFA window in May. So next time, it is seriously business. Because that is the time where we have to play four matches for Afcon qualif for qualification, beginning of June. So this is the moment that we should use our the time and the camp to see some new players and give them some playing times in one of the two international friendlies to see what can they give Tanzania, what can they give Taifa Das. The team, the selection for the goalkeeper, it will be Aishi Manula. Um, Metacha and Nata, and then the young keeper M. Sherry, that will be the three goalkeepers. For defenders, 
We will have Shomari Kapombe, you will have Israel uh, and Wenda, and then we bring a new player in, Haji Ennonga from England, Portsmouth, he's playing there. So we are bringing him in as well. For the central defender, we have Dixon Job, Pakari Nondo, we have Lusatio, Waikenda, even Lusatio is playing on the right fullback very often for Assam. We still remember maybe that he also did a good job for the under 23 in Ethiopia, where he played central defender. So we want to see him. And in Ethiopia, he was playing together with Abdul Razak, who is now playing for Namungu as central defender. So Abdul Razak is also uh, one of the central defenders. For the left fullback, we will have Muhammad Hussein, we will have Nixon Kibabache, and then there is a coming back to Farid Musa, who is now playing on the left fullback. For me, I still can see he can play left fullback, but I also think he can play left winger. So there are different options with him. But we want to see where is Farid now, because he has been a little bit up and down. For the central, Holding the midfielder, we have Novatus, which I think you all know have been doing a good job. He is still in Israel, but he is now being on loan to our first division, second division club to play regularly. So he's playing and playing, so we also have expectation that he's on his high. He will be there together with Ensamiro, Yasin, Jonas Enkude, and uh, Peter Muya. And then we also bring one new player in, uh, Asis Adamweli from Embea City, because I think that player also is interesting. He has some potential. We would like to see how can he cope from national to international level. You never know. Some of these players that might surprise us very positively, and they will be in the team. Maybe some we have to say, pole pole next time. Then for the wingers, we will have Kelvin John, as mentioned. Kelvin John can play winger, he can play striker, he plays winger in his club most of the time. And he will be there together with uh, uh, Simon and Suva. Simon and Suva is a special case at this moment. I have been in touch several times, have meeting with him here in Dar es Salaam. We are working on his case, we are helping him to keep his fitness. But I think Simon Epsuva, we need him in this camp to, to see where he is at the moment. And most of all, I'm trying to tell Simon Epsuva, Simon, get your case solved as soon as possible because you need to play. You cannot continue not to play because you will drop. But Simon Epsuva, I have the hope soon he will play again. And the main thing is that he will be ready in June for the AFCON. Qualifier. That is the, the important thing. Then for the central, more offensive player, we have Faisal Saloum. And then we are bringing another young player in there, Ben Anthony Swakali, who is playing in Spalding United in England. We want to see where is he at the moment also. Then on the other side of the winger, we, put, we can put Samata. I know he can play different positions. And then we bring another young player in there, Tepsi Prosper from Assam, because we see his potential, he's on the way, so he will also be there. For the top strikers, we will have Relian Lusatio for Namungu, because he's always giving something to his team, his attitude and work. And there's another player I've been impressed with to, to see him for his team, for Gaeta. It's just George Empole. I really like the aggressiveness that uh, he has. So we want to see him also at the Taifa Stars to see can he go from Gaeta to play international. And another striker we will bring in is Ibrahim Joshua, who is playing in for Tosca in Kenya to see how he is doing. He has been playing quite well for his team. He has been scoring some goals. He is a bit more matured, but we, will, we want to see him. And then the last top striker is Kibo Dennis, who will uh, be there, uh, who, all, who, yeah, I you know he has been injured for some time, but he's starting to play again now. That gives a total of 25 players. Of course, there are some players who have been considered, 
but at this moment they have not been selected. There are also players who are very matured, but also are getting, you know, there is a time for a player where he goes up, then he has his career, and then there is a time where the player starts to fade out. So some of the most experienced of our players, like Boko and Erasto, have not been selected for this time, but I will tell them, it all depends what you are showing the next three, four, five months before we are playing in June, if they will be in or they will not be in. But for this camp, I know them very much where they are. I want to see some other players for this. So I think we have got a good mix of new young players. Uh, and uh, I think we have Haji Manonga, we have Farid Abdul Raza, Kelvin John, Ben Starkey, Tepsi, George Sempole, Ibrahim Joshua. So there are quite a number of new players. And I'm sure, not all of them, but some of them, they will knock on the door to say, hey, I'm ready for Taifa Stars. And that's what we are looking for. So I really look forward to have the camp with them for, and play two international uh, friendly. I think more or less that's all what I have. So, questions, feel free. I'll try to do my best to answer your questions. It's always nice to be together with you. And I think we have the same target. We want to see our one and only national team, Taifa Stars, reaching the AFCON final. That's where we want to go. And that's what we are starting preparing for now in 22. This is the first camp, and it's a very important camp for the team. Asante Sano.